dear students this is dr supriya saugile from drk college of commerce kolhapur i welcome you once again in the lecture series of the subject financial accounting paper 1 so from we have seen and started a discussion over unit 1 which is entitled as basics of accounting in the last lecture we have seen all the details regarding accounting its meaning objective advantages branches of accounting and accounting concepts and conventions today in this lecture we are going to see and have a discussion on accounting standards and ifrs so let us discuss about accounting standards accounting standards are authoritative standards for financial reporting and are the primary source of generally accepted accounting principles to which we can call gap accounting standards specify how transactions and other events are to be recognized measured presented and disclose in financial statements their objective is to provide financial information to investors lenders creditors contributors and others that is useful in making decisions about providing resources to the entity friends the basic objective of financial statement is to provide information about profitability and financial position of the business the information provided by the financial statement is useful for making economic decisions the information contained in the published financial statement is especially important to external users like shareholders investors economists managers bankers leaders government administrators etc but because of lack of uniformity in policies and practices followed in different enterprises the external users cannot understand the statement properly and arrive at proper decisions hence financial statement must be prepared in such a manner that they will become capable of comparison with prior years years statements to serve this purpose there must be uniformity in policies and practices adopted in preparing financial statement to serve this purpose all accountants all over the world have developed certain rules procedures and conventions to maintain uniformity in accounting principles throughout the world the process of standard setting has been initiated and pursued by different accounting bodies over the last four decades the main object of formulation of accounting standards is to eliminate confusing variations in the treatment of several accounting aspects and to bring about uniformity to the extent possible in presentation of financial statements hence it is said that accounting standard is authoritative pronouncement of code of practice of regulatory accountancy body to be observed and applied in the preparation and presentation of financial statements now let us know about indian accounting standards the indian accounting standards that is int as as notified 
under section 133 of the Companies Act 2013 have been formulated keeping the Indian economic and legal environment in view and with a view to converge with IFRS standards as issued by and copyright of which is held by the IFRS Foundation. Now let us have discussion about IFRS. IFRS stand for International Financial Reporting Standards. These accounting standards are issued by IFRS Foundation and International Accounting Standards Board that is IASB. They constitute a standardized way of describing the company's financial performance and position so that company financial statement are understandable and comparable across international boundaries. They are particularly relevant for companies with shares or securities listed on a public stock exchange. These standards are applied while preparing financial statements of a company. These have already been applied in more than 100 countries and would be used across the globe. ICAI committed to achieve IFRS conversion by 2011. That is, all the existing standards in India will be revised to ensure that they are in harmony with IFRS. To remove the discrepancy in accounting across the globe, countries world over decided to apply uniform standards of accounting so as to arrive at uniform results across the globe. IFRS are designed as common global language for business affairs so that company accounts are understandable comparable across international boundaries. They are a consequence of growing international shareholding and trade and are particularly important for companies that have dealings in several countries. They are progressively replacing many different national accounting standards. Accounting standards in India about this. The Institute of Chartered Accountants of India has tried to improve its accounting and auditing standards continuously in the country in last four decades. The most important step in developing accounting standards in the country have been setting up of an accounting standard board in 1977. The main function of this board is to formulate accounting standards so that such standards will be established by the Council of Institute of Chartered Accountants. Now, let us discuss about GAP. GAP means generally accepted accounting principles are basic accounting principles and guidelines which provide the framework for more detailed and comprehensive accounting rules, standards and other industry specific accounting practices. For example, Financial Accounting Standards Board FASB 
uses this principle as a base to frame their own accounting standards. These are common set of accounting standards, rules and procedures. Gap are not written in law but are a combination of authoritative standards set by policy boards that help creditors, investors and auditors make better financial decisions. The four basic assumptions for financial statements involve economic entity, going concern, monetary unit and periodic reporting. The four basic principles are historical cost, revenue recognition, magic concept and full disclosure. GAAP is used in India which is known as Indian GAAP. In most cases, GAAP requires the use of accrual basis. It adheres to the revenue recognition, matching and cost principles. Thank you very much for attending today's lecture. In today's lecture, we have discussed accounting principles, accounting standards, Indian accounting standards, international accounting standard, IFRS and generally accepted accounting principles. I will provide you detailed note on Indian accounting standards which are in use right now. Okay, thank you so much for listening the lecture. Stay tuned for next lectures. Have a good day.